California. Now, a lot of lawns are turning brown with new strict water rules, even though we're going to get some rain. Those rules are brought in by the drought. But a local man found the fountain of youth when it comes to keeping your lawn green during dry times. So how is he doing it without using very, very much water? Well, CBS 13's Ian Schwartz is live in Sacramento with how he's doing it. How's he doing it, Ian? Hey, Dave. Well, hey, it's not me. That's uh, above my pay grade. But you talked about brown lawns. This is kind of the new look here in California. This is the neighbor's lawn behind me. But let's scoot over to the right here. Look at this lush emerald lawn. Well, how was it done? It was done with paint. If you drove by Bill Schaefer, you might give him a strange look, too. On any given afternoon, you'll find him swaying back and forth. This brown lawn, his canvas, and this shiny nozzle, his paintbrush. The Degas of drought, if you will. That's pretty impressive. I gotta say, I haven't seen anything like it before. I've seen the fake grass. Well, one night I said to my girlfriend, um, you know, people are gonna have to start painting their lawns green if they want green lawns this summer. <laughs> And Bill, who's always been an idea man and entrepreneur, quickly got to work forming his new company, Brown Lawn Green. That was two months ago. And now these hoses aren't pumping water, but coloring, as Bill calls it. And if you have a lot of questions, don't worry, we did too. I guess my consideration too would be, you know, for, for animals, yeah. um, so toxic safe. or not, because the, yeah. the little one eats grass. Right. Um, I, I'm sure the big one does too. Bill says the paint is non-toxic, made up of stone pigments and oil that help it bind to the grass, safe for the family dog or kids to play on. The paint lasts about six weeks, depending on how fast you cut your grass and how often you trim it. In July, you should be able to get about six weeks to eight weeks out of it because you're not cutting your yard as much. So far, Bill has had a couple dozen people decide to go green. And after he finished this lawn, it was really hard to tell the grass had been painted. The idea might be somewhat new here, but Bill is not the first guy to paint grass. Golf courses have been doing it for uh, quite a while, actually. Bill says to paint a lawn this size will run you around two to three hundred dollars. Well worth the price, he says, to save water while making your neighbors green with envy. You know, I kind of call it the ten footer. So ten feet away, it actually looks like a natural green lawn, like you just water the heck out of it. And actually standing right above this thing, it does look like normal lawn, a little bit dry when you touch it. But I asked Bill, I said, Bill, what happens if it starts raining like crazy next year? Uh, will this be all for naught? He says, no, even um, golf courses during mm -hmm. the wet season will use this type of product. You know, those edges that the sprinkler just can't get. He says it's a great way to get that picture perfect lawn. Well, I love it, Ian, a guy making green off of some green. All right, thank you so much, sir. Hey.